Right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Before I start, I want to give honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Yahweh Chachodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. I like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole for the elect, and Shalom to you, sincere brother scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother, my Shiaka Razaka from the servants of Yahweh Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, pretty much this lesson is going to be titled as The Lord Heals, Hears Our Prayers. And uh, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. This is, uh, this is just a quick hitter, too, by the way. This is uh, Mark 11 and 24. This is Mark 11 and uh, 24. All right. Because the Lord does hear our prayers. This is Mark 11 and 24. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe, and ye, sh and ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Right, because you got to be fully persuaded in your own mind. You know, and that goes back to having faith. You got to have faith. You got to know in the name of the calling on the name of the Lord, Yahweh, who is the Heavenly Father. Yah means he, Hawa means to be, exist, he is. Bahashem coming in the name Yahweh Shai. Yah means he, Yahweh Shai means savior, deliver, calling on that name, anything is possible. The scriptures even say, ye has a faith of a small, of a grain, of a mustard seed. Anything is anything anything is un is in, is impossible. Just probably paraphrasing. If you know the name of the Lord and you call on that name and you believe, the Lord hears your prayers. That's why Yahweh Shai said in Mark eleven and twenty four, therefore I say unto you. What things soever ye desire, right? When ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them, right? So you got to be fully persuaded in your own mind, and you got to have a faith, and you got to know it. Don't think it, know it, all right? You got to believe, all right? This is Ephesians 2 and 8, because let's see what, you know, what it says in Ephesians 2 and 8. And the spiritual gift of faith, not everybody has faith. faith. Faith is a spiritual gift given by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. This is Ephesians 2 and 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of Yahweh. Right. So faith is a spiritual gift given by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And that's something that you should pray about is ask the Lord to increase you in the faith and also to increase you in the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of this gospel, this good news. All right. That's something that I always pray for, you know, starting from myself, you know, and also the brothers out there that's having uh, those those difficulties of having faith. You know, you want to pray to the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, and ask the Lord to increase you in the faith. And also fast. You know, fasting is something that you should be working on as well. You know, you got to get these demons and spirits off of you. You know, one way to do that, you know, is to fast, you know. So brothers should do that as well. Fast. If you if you have time to fast, fast. You know, start start practicing on, you know, working on those things. You know, not practicing, but working on those things, you know. Cause that's things that you need to work on as well, is is the fasting, brothers, you know. And I'm speaking for myself first and foremost, not just to anybody just to do a lesson. I'm saying this. For myself, first and foremost, start fasting more because I haven't been fasting. I fast, but I don't do it as much. And that's something that I need to work on myself. You know, <clears throat> this is uh, 1 John 5 and 14. It says, and this is the confidence that we have in him. Who's him? We're talking about the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Miao Shai. We have, calf we have confidence in Yahweh Bashim Miao Shai. We know and believe through faith. All right, that the Lord hears our prayers, and we know He hears our prayers, man. We know that Yahweh Bashim Ashai hears our prayers. It says, "This is the confidence that we have in Him, that if we ask anything according to according to His will, see the Lord's will. Everything is through the Lord's will. That's why we always say, Lord willing. We don't boast on tomorrow. We don't boast about what we're gonna do the next day." Or how we're going to get this, how we're going to get that. No, everything is of the Lord's will. There's a precept in there that say the Lord bless, the Lord, the Lord maketh rich and who he maketh poor. Everything is on the Lord's will. All right. So you got to you got to have confidence and, and believe in the Lord. It says, and this is the confidence that we in him. That if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us and you got to believe and you got to know him and you got to be fully persuaded in your own mind to know that if you if you object to have doubts you need to go on a fast and you need to start you know praying to the lord about that ask the lord to strengthen you and to deliver those those wicked demons and spirits on you man
because that's the demon of doubt. If you don't, if you don't have the faith, all right. If you thinking the Lord ain't hearing your prayers and things like that, those are demons on you, and you gotta fast to get them spirits off, man. All right, because just because you're in the truth, don't think that ain't no demons gonna. Going to fuck with you or nothing like that. No. Just because you're in the truth, don't think that the Lord ain't going to try you and he ain't going to send Satan after you and he ain't going to allow demons to fuck with you because the Lord does the Lord do those things. But you got to have the faith and you got to know it and you got to you got to believe and be fully persuaded in your own mind. And you got to ask the Lord to deliver you out of that situation, out of that spirit. You know, it's easier said than done, but you got to do that. You got to do those things. And I'm just speaking for myself first and foremost. All right. It says, verse 7, it says, if ye abide in me, see, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. So you got to know it. You got to be fully persuaded in your own mind. You got to abide in your how about you, You got to believe in his words. You got to believe in this truth. You got to believe in this word, this truth, this gospel. All right. This is Matthew 7 and 7. Matthew 7 and 7. See, it's all through the scriptures. Matthew 7 and 7. It says, and it shall be be given you seek and ye shall find knock and it should be open unto you right so you got to ask the lord you got to seek the lord you got to cry out to the lord you got to ask the lord to deliver you out of out of that out of that out of that spirit man you know cry out to your how about shimmy shy man and the lord will the lord will reveal it to you through the spirit the lord your how about shimmy shy will reveal it to you through the spirit man all right but you got to be fully persuaded in your own mind you got to know it you got to believe it though all right because if you don't believe, as like scriptures say in Hebrews 11 and 6, it is impossible to please him. All right. You can't please the Lord if you don't have faith. All right. You got to be fully in your, you got to be fully persuaded in your mind, man. All right. This is John. This is John. St. John 15, 16. It says, if ye, it says, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Right. Because you don't choose the Lord. The Lord chooses you. All right. I said that many times. And it's true. You don't choose the Lord. The Lord chooses you. It says, and ordain you that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatsoever ye shall ask the father in my name, in Yahweh Shai's name. That's why we got to call upon. That's why we say Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai because Yahweh Shai, he is our mediator. We have to worship Yahweh Shai so he can get to the father because Yahweh Shai talks to the father for us, for our prayers, for our prayers to be answered. You can't skip Yahweh Shai and just pray to the heavenly father only. No. You got to go, you got to worship, you got to call upon the name of his son. You have to worship Yahweh Shai to get to the Heavenly Father. All right? Because this is a huge cut to a lot of Old Testament Israelites. You know, they don't believe in the Messiah. They don't, they don't believe he existed. They don't believe they got to call on his name. They just believe that they can skip Yahweh Shai and go straight to the Heavenly Father. No, you considered, you are considered a, 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 a Antichrist if you don't acknowledge the Messiah. You consider an Antichrist. If you doubt the if you doubt the only begotten son, you're an antichrist. All right? Because you don't believe in the in the son. And you don't have the father if you don't have the son. And that's in the scriptures. All right? It says that whatsoever ye shall ask him ask of the father in my name, see Yahweh Shai. That's why we say Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh, which is the heavenly father, Bahashem coming in the name Yahweh Shai. All right? That's why we say Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai cuz Yahweh Shai is our mediator. All right? It says he may give he may give it you. Right. You're going to receive it. But you got to call upon the name of the Lord and you got to seek the Lord. All right. You got to seek the Lord, man. You got to seek the Lord. And uh, we got another precept. This is Jeremiah. So like this is Jeremiah um, 33 and 3. 33 and 3. Come on. Just want to make sure. Yeah. Uh, Jeremiah 33 and 3. <clears throat> it says, call unto me and I will answer. See, but you got to know the name of the Lord too. Because you got Jake's out there calling on Yahweh, Ahaya, uh, uh, calling on uh, uh, Yahushua, Yehuda, you know, all these different names. And the Lord doesn't answer to all them different names. The Lord only has one name. It's Yahweh. And the name of his only begotten son is Yahweh Shai. It says, call unto me and I will answer. So you got to call upon Yahweh Bashim Yahshai and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Right. Because you got to call upon the name of the Lord and you got to know his name. Because if you call on Jesus and God, the Lord ain't going to answer those prayers because that's not his name. He's not going to answer those names. Those are not his name. You got to call upon Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Yah means he. Yahweh means to be exists. He is. 
Bahashem coming in the name Yahawashai. Yah means he. Hawashai means savior or deliver. That's the name of the only begotten son. His name is Yahawashai. Not Jesus. Not Yeshaya. Not Yahushua. Not Yeshua. It's Yahawashai. All right. And the name of the heavenly father is Yahweh. All right. So you got to understand that. You got to get familiar with those names and call only upon those names. Don't call upon all these other names, man. All right. This is Isaiah 65 and 24. Isaiah 65 and uh, 24. All right. Let's get that out right here. It says, and it shall come to pass that before thy call, I will answer. See, and it, and it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear because the Lord hears your prayers. The Lord knows that we're going to pray to him before we even know. So the Lord is already going to answer your prayers because before you even think you're going to pray to the Lord, the Lord already knows that you're going to pray to him before you know. So before you even pray, the Lord already knew that you was going to do that. So the Lord is already hearing your prayers, man. And that's that's the spirit, man. That's just that just, uh, uh, you know, uh, uplifted me in the spirit just now, man, because the Lord ain't gonna know, the Lord is going to know that you're praying to him, that you're going to pray to him before you even do, man. You know, that's why you want. That's why. You you should know that the Lord is going to hear your prayers. You should know that. All right. You should know that. You should be confident in that. Just brought the scripture. Out. You should be confident in that because the Lord already going to know you. The Lord already knows that you're going to pray to him before you even know. He already knew you was going to do that. So the Lord is already listening that moment, that time, that hour, that second. The Lord already knew you was going to do that. So he's already there listening to you, man. He's already listening to everything you're saying or what are you going through? What are you whatever it is, man? You got to believe it. You know, the Lord's going to do it. You know, that's why you got to be strong in the faith. All right. You got to be strong in the faith, man. That's just beautiful right there. This is Second Chronicles 7 and 4. This is Second Chronicles uh, 7 and 14. So like it. 7 and 14. Uh, this is 2 Chronicles 7 and 14. It says, if my people, which are called by my name, and you got to know the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Shall humble themselves. You got to be humble. Don't come into this thing being macho Randy Savage. Don't do that. Come being humble. It says and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will hear their land. Right. So you got it. You you got to humble yourself, man. Praying to the Lord as well. You can't be coming in with a with a with a with a prideful, almighty, cocky spirit. You got to be humble, man. All right. And once you know the name of the Lord, you got to seek the Lord. You got to seek his faith face. All right. Which is coming to this truth, getting the understanding, getting to know the Lord. All right. Following the instructions given in the scriptures, man, you as an Israelite, a so-called Negro, Spank, Native American Indian. All right. This is Jeremiah um, 29 and verse 12. All right. Jeremiah 29 and 12. It says, Then shall ye call upon me. See, call upon the name of the Lord. And ye shall go and pray unto me. And I will hearken unto you. See, so the Lord hears our prayers, man. Yahweh Bashim Ashai hears our prayers. Like I said, I just said it not too long ago. And I say it again. The Lord knows when you're going to pray. The Lord knows before you even know. The moment you had a thought to, I'm going to pray to the Lord, the Lord already knew you was going to do that before you even started to pray. The Lord already knew that. So the Lord is already hearing you right then and there at that moment, that second, that time. All right. The Lord already knows when you're going to do things before you even do them. So that's that's what is that's, that's that's just beautiful, man. So you shouldn't be thinking, oh, I wonder if the Lord is hearing my prayers or I wonder if he heard me. I don't think he hearing me because you getting those are demons fucking with your head. That's why the scriptures say put off mortal thoughts in second Edris 1414. It says put off from thee mortal thoughts for that is the weak nature. You're going to bug yourself out, man. You got to read this scripture right here, man. You know, you got to know. It says I read that again. Jeremiah 29 and 12. Then shall ye call upon me and ye shall go and pray unto me. And I will hearken unto you. So the Lord already knows, again, the Lord already knows that you're going to pray to him before you know. So before you even think, oh, man, I'm about to, man, I'm about to pray to the Lord today. As soon as you already praying, the Lord already knew you was going to do that before you even thought of doing that. Before that even came into your mind. All right. Before that even came into your lob, the Lord already knew that, that 
that you are going to do that. So he's already listening to you right then and there at that moment, man. This is how powerful and magnificent our power is, man. All right. Our one true power, man. Our only power, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. And I got a precept. This is Luke 18 and uh, verse 1. This is Luke 18 and 1. It says, and he spake a parable unto them. Talk. This is Yahweh Shai, which he spoke unto the disciples. All right. To the apostles. It says, and he spake a parable unto them to this end that men ought to always pr to pray and to faint not. Right. So you want to pray. You want to consistently pray to the Lord 24 7. All right. You want to consistently pray to the Lord. All right. And if you are Jake that's having a, a, a difficulty praying or or your mind is going through all these thoughts, you got to fast. You need to start fasting. The elders say that all the time. Start fasting because you got spirits that mess with you. All right. We got spirits that fuck with us in the flesh. So we, you got to fast them demons off, man. You know, I'm telling you, when you fast, man, because I experienced it fasting. All right. When you fast, man. If you go a whole day to two days without eating, everything in your body increases. All your senses increasing. It cre increases, man. All right. And that's when you really can pray. All right. That's when you can really pray. And the Lord hears your prayers even more because you're fasting. So you want to do those things, man. You want to work on those things. And I'm speaking for myself, first and foremost, man. For real, for real, man. All right. This is uh, John 16 and verse 23. This is John 16 and verse 23. All right. It says, and in that day, ye shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall ask the father in my name, Yahweh Shai, he will give it. He will give it you. He will give it to you. But you got to call upon the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. So it's Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Call upon the name of the Lord, man. And he will give it to you, man. So you got to have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. And you got to call on that name only. Not all these different names. You got Jake's out there calling on Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. And they calling on Ahaya Shohaya. You bugged out. All right. Ahaya Shohaya is not the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahshia is not the name of the Only Begotten Son. It's Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. You shouldn't call on no other outside name of that. It's just Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, man. Yahweh is the name of the Father. Yahweh Shai is the name of the only begotten Son, man. Call upon that name. John 16 and 23. It says, In that day ye shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, Yahweh Shai, because that's the name, that's the only true name of the only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai. He will give it to you. So you got to call upon the name of the Lord, man. You got to call upon you. How about Shimmy Shai? He's going to be there with you. He hears everything you're saying. He hears your thoughts. He knows what you're thinking before you even think it. All right. Matthew 21, 22. And this is what Yahweh Shai said. In all things, this is one of my favorite precepts. In all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive. So you got to have the faith. All right. You have to have the faith. I'm going to read this and we're going to end it with this. This is Hebrews 11 and 6. Hebrews 11 and 6, it says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. Please who? Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. If you don't have the faith, it's going to be impossible for you, man, to be able to pray, to be able to go out and teach, to be able to do three lessons every day. It's going to be impossible for you to do those things. You want to have the faith and you want to ask the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, to give you that spiritual gift of faith. Because Ephesians 2 and 8 even said, all right, faith is a spiritual gift given by Yahweh, all right? Not every, not every single Hebrew Israelite has a faith. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him, man. And that diligence is, is, is one of the most important things in this truth. You know, having diligence is what? Laboring, man. Doing the works. Constantly being embedded in the truth, man. Constantly sustaining in his truth. All right. So, hey, man, that's pretty much it on that. All right. I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Yahweh Chachodash. All right, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. I like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. 
Because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Until next time, I say shalom.